Hi, uh, this is Chipi Wachibengwa, the CEO of Tourism Business Council of South Africa. And this is an update for the beginning of the year. The year has started uh, on a positive note. Uh, we have seen from our calculations that uh, the recovery rate stands at around between 90 and 94 percent uh, compared to the same period in 2020, which means we are moving at a faster pace, although there are still many establishments that still need to catch up. As we go forward, uh, we will start to see more and more international tourists coming to the country from the markets that have recently opened and many others that are a good potential uh, for our country. We do have challenges and we all know what those challenges are. And electricity supply is one of the challenges uh, that we've faced. And recently, we know that we've been in stage six load shedding and there is unpredictability in terms of the energy supply. And that is one big constraint that we are communicating with government uh, in terms of, at the least, pro providing us with predictable schedules so that we can look into how we can work around load shedding stages. The entire business community in South Africa is behind uh, some sort of a plan you know, that will ensure that uh, we get to a sustainability level. And certainly we as the TBCSA, uh, we are part of that community. We are you know, sitting with uh, the public-private partnership, uh, growth initiative, and many other uh, organizations like BUSA, that are in the forefront of ensuring that you know, the business community voices are heard. The recovery in terms of the Tom Levy collection uh, is also visible. And we've seen that in December, when we look at the numbers, we are slightly above the 92% that we're averaging. We're closer to the 94%, which means that our recovery is faster. And the collections that we, we, we have seen, you know, goes into the marketing of South Africa as a tourist destination. And also it goes into the collaborative fund where we look for projects that will make impact within the tourism industry. And we ensure that that impact is felt across the value chain. And of course, at the end of it all, we want to see sustainable tourism growth. We want to see the destination that's going to be thriving and we have to ensure that we are well represented in all the source markets and that's where this Thompson Levy collection goes into. Looking ahead into 2023, uh, the recovery of the business tourism uh, subsector of our industry you know, will continue to recover. We've seen many conferences, meetings, incentives that are looking into coming into South Africa and of course domestic conferencing that are, are going to be coming through. And of course sporting events uh, that continue to boost the recovery of tourism continues. So we have seen that in that particular subsector of our tourism industry, there will be you know, a faster recovery. In addition to that, the international inbound also is going to recover a bit faster than what it did in the previous year. We have seen many airlines that are looking into South Africa. We have seen some few announcements, even coming from China, whereby uh, they will start to fly directly into South Africa. So more and more of that particular kind of work uh, will be done in the first quarter to make sure that we secure even more airlines coming into our country and we make sure that the policy environment uh, is conducive for that. The second thing that we need to do uh, in this quarter is to make sure that we participate uh, in the review of green paper into the white paper. We do know that we have a tourism white paper uh, that was done in 1996. Uh, we have a, a new one that's coming up. It needs to be changed so that it can suit the environment that we work in. We've had many developments from technology side that we need to incorporate into the white paper. And the white paper that comes out will be the guiding paper in terms of the policy changes of the future.